shot out by surface air missiles, anti aircraft artillery, it's on fire. And it was not worth $150. <laughs> so I saw the airplane explode in pieces, and I thought you were dead. There's no place I go that he is not. When he said, Copy that, good to hear your voice. I'll never forget that moment for a My name is Julia Gottfried. Okay, I'm Kayla Higgins. And I'm Joel Fowler. So, this was a human sized chess game. It's where a ton of super competitive people, also mixed with people who have no idea what they're doing, are going head to head for 40 minutes trying to be the victors. And it was a little bit of organized chaos at first, but then people really got into it. There was some cheering, there was some extreme strategizing going on. And at the end of the day, I was pretty happy because my team went two for two. And we were actually like kind of the captains of our team a little bit because we played the most out of any of them. And it was really fun. Like there really was like no strategy going into it. We just like made it up as we went along. Yes. I think that's what made us so strong. Yeah. Right? Because we were like, no other team was really that like oriented like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <In, in, in laughs> Sorry, that, we, we love way, you guys, but, but yeah, like, we're, we're good chess players. So, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like, I, not talk, right, I like, talked to them and they said like they like planned it out, but we really did it. Like, yeah. That way we're different. Are you a chess player today? No. <laughs> I was one of the, I had no idea what was happening people. <laughs> I was there for moral support. Where'd the queen go? My I am a queen. Ah. <laughs> my wife. I'm a rock. Your majesty. You're alone and unprotected. Aw, did the king just say that? <laughs> That's why I married her. Is that the rook dance? I don't know what the rook dance is. I just heard about it when I walked in the building. Yeah. So, well, I don't know, like, no. Someone said it's about like a four mile walk, and that's all I heard. And doesn't, yeah, that's what someone said. But I, that's all I know. That's all I know. <laughs> I, I have a feeling it's not going to be restful at all. I hope it means that first one to take a nap. Because <laughs> rest means rest. I actually have no idea. One sentence. How would you describe the rest race today? Terrible. The rest race was terrible. Yesterday, I had three Charlie horses. So, I mean, th this is me just going into it. We, we get down to the bottom of the beach, and it's just sand. There's all this cold water. And then we immediately go to an even colder thing of water, just with the, the ice. I was really pumped up for it. I was stretching the whole time for like 10 minutes, and I was really excited to get moving and see how far I could go. We started right into the sand, like right off the bat, getting dirty and... The first thing was the sand. I was not ready to get myself full of sand. I was the timer, so um, I didn't have to experience that, but I was there for like mental support and like cheering them on and encouraging them. And then from there, it's just a lot of running and then swimming and then we got out of the water and then we had to run from there. And then there was the slip and slide, which actually wasn't that bad. So we were on the slip and slide team, basically trying to make them slip and slide. So it was very interesting seeing the different techniques. There were some people who just like gingerly walked through the whole thing, like right down the middle in the soap and somehow didn't fall. There were some people who, you know, when they showed up, they were like, wait, like, can we run? And we're like, 
yes, that's kind of the point. It's a slip and slide. They're like, awesome. So they'd like, you know, pull back, get a running start, and then just like Superman, like all the way down or attempt to. And yeah, so that was pretty fun. There was one person, uh, Julian, who basically barrel rolled the whole way down. Basically, I was slipping and I just didn't want to run through it because I knew I was going to just slip more. So I, I just decided to roll and I was rolling the entire time. And I forgot I had my glasses on. And I dropped my glasses. I didn't want to pick them back up. So I just kept rolling. And I was going to ignore them and grab them later. And then I got a bunch of soap in my eye. And it just delayed it by like 30 seconds at least. I would say the most challenging one was when we had to do the little mini pool where we had to stick our head completely under the water and just go all the way across. And you didn't know how far it was. Like it didn't look that far, but the moment you actually stuck your head under and just tried to go across, it was longer than you would expect. By the time I got to the hill, I was like, all right, this is the final stretch. Ah! Well, I was like half blind. So when I was like running through the rest of the obstacles, I was getting pretty dizzy because I couldn't see very well. And then it was like, uh... For me, honestly, it wasn't very challenging. Um, I've been in track forever, so running to keep up really wasn't that hard. So it was, it was pretty simple. And like, I love to encourage people. And then it was like, uh, And then it, like literally halfway up the hill, I was like, uh, and then just like somebody just came up, just just grabbed me, and was just like, let's go. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so it's this like very steep hill that takes like a lot of grit. It's like the last thing, so you're like the most exhausted. You have to like push up it and like hit the zip line tower. You're like, oh, it's the last thing. Like this should be like easier or whatever. People are encouraging you, and then all of a sudden they did not expect to get like hit with a whole bunch of water balloons. And then I just collapsed. And and just, just tried to breathe for the next like 10 minutes. So yeah, um, terrible.